what's your pregame juice before a broadcast? Where do you bump in before you get on the get on the set you, and you got to de- deliver some energy to the people on watching at home? I have a uh, I have a I, I listen to Spotify now, so I have a Spotify playlist that I've downloaded, and it is about as eclectic as you can imagine. I've got rap and hip hop. I've got old school Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin. Um, got some country on there. Um, and, uh, it, it goes in a lot of different directions. So it basically is whatever comes up on the playlist. And every once in a while I have something that pops up and I go, not in the mood next. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I don't, I don't like have an, an anthem that I listen to to fire me up. I don't need to get fired up to, to watch a game. I'm fired up anyway. And I don't got to play like you have to play. Uh, I just, I just oh. have to sit there and watch. Is that playlist shareable? I think so. I don't know. I don't really know how to do it, but I'm sure I could. <laughs> What do you got in there? Like a couple hundred songs, or you keep it short? Oh, it's more like, than a thousand, I think. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up here and read off of it. I hope that's our plan. All right. What, what would you say, like new gen? While you're looking for it, new gen rappers or hip hop or just somebody in this new generation that you've you've been turned on. To? I don't like, know what how you, much new rich gen guy? There is. Like, I got a lot of Jeezy on here. Um, we know about the Jeezy thing. We know about, <laughs> yeah, we know. We, we see your Twitter with the quotes, man. I got some. We were going to ask if there's someone else you got on your radar, a new up and coming guy that you really like. I you might probably get some don't. Quotes from. I'm probably going to get exposed as not listening to what I should listen to. No, um, seriously. You you think you ever take the Jeezy thing and you just replace his rap lyrics with like a new guy that you're like, all right, like I'm going to do what I did with Jeezy, but I'm going to do it with. So and so. I like, could. Does that, does that I could. transformation I mean, ever happen? I have. I have slipped a couple in from from Jay Z and Rick Ross and some others. Um, and then every once in a while, uh, I haven't done this in a while, but every once in a while, I would put like a Barry Manilow lyric in there, and I got to go to work to see if anybody noticed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I I don't listen only to to hip hop. It made it you know the Jeezy thing made it sound like I do, but I don't. It's just one thing I like because when I was in high school. Uh, I don't know if it was the first, but it was the first mainstream rap song I ever heard was called Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. And it was probably 1978 or 1979 when I just got to high school. So my teammates and I listened to that all the time and we would sing it when we were working out and stuff like that. Um, so I, I started and then my teammates in college were, were big into it. Um, so it's sort of, some of it kind of rubbed off on me. Um, but my son probably has more up to date stuff than I do by far. Yeah, he's probably keeping you keeping you hip to this generation. No, he doesn't share he's it like... with me. He just listens to it himself. He's, he's not gonna. <laughs> he's too cool. Where... He's too cool to to hang out with me. 